one and skip another chain and then do five. <laughs> so it's basically a single crochet on either side of a shell, you know. Just toss it, the B stitch. Um, do you want to grab my uh, my phone? I think it's just right under there. There we go. Hey everybody, it's me, Cindy, and my beautiful mommy. <laughs> and, we're <Nice>. going to, <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to talk about this incredible blankie that she made. So take a look at that. How did you make it, Mama? Well, uh, this is one of Tiffany's stitches that she taught me. It's a, called a I can't remember what it's called. We'll go look look it up. But it's a V stitch. And it's just very simple and easy for me to do. It's, it's the only one I really like. And what, what colors what colors did you use? Uh, kind of a pale yellow or maybe a cream. Some it, people call it a cream. It turned out so and, beautiful. And then a navy blue s stitch or a navy blue rickrack kind of look. So is it the same stitch all the way through and you, just a different color makes the rickrack? Yes. Oh my goodness. I just absolutely love this. And then you did this fantastic border, which we're going to show everybody exactly how she does it. But look how pretty that is. It is. It's a really a very easy but very pretty border. Plus it just makes it look finished. Yeah. Now, did you weave your ends in? Well, kind of. <laughs> I was going to ask you what. <laughs> well, I saw that you had this, you and Tiff do this thing where you like crochet over your ends. And I haven't, I haven't discovered this trick yet. So I, I was I curious. I am trying. Yes. See, I've got all the ends on this one poking out. But I thought after I did my original, um, this, this particular, um, finish what is it called the trim yeah uh, starts with a single crochet and you do a single crochet just kind of spaced all all over and then chain stitch it together and uh, then you start your shells it's so pretty I really want to learn how to do it so uh, we're gonna show you how she does it but anyways this is this is the single crochet on the top. Then, the, the wonderful thing about this is then you go around and you start your shells. And um, you start with start this off. one and I'm going to this next one, next single crochet. And I go under the V, the V on top. All with, right. And I start doing my double crochets if I can if I can manage it <laughs> without, You're doing good. without shaking too much. Hey, the shaking works. Shake it till you make it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, because this is what I do. So there's four. And so you're yarning over and doing those... Uh, double crochets. Half double crochet. No, no, no. No, it's a full double? Yeah, it's full double. There you go. There's five in it. Five into one. Right. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. And then you skip a, a single crochet right there. Yeah. And you go to the next, excuse me. Let's see if I can do this right. And then you go into the next uh, single crochet and you do one single crochet there. And that gives you your shape. Oh. Okay, and then you skip a skip a single crochet and you go into the next single crochet and this is when we're gonna do another shell. That's how easy it is. And so did you come up with this on your own or would do you remember if you learned it out of a book somewhere? Or? I learned it years ago out of a book. You're good at following directions. I am, I can follow directions really well. Sometimes I read the directions and I really can't, I can't picture it in my mind. It always works better if I just start, start doing it. And then I, then I figure it out. Do you remember what your first crochet project was? 
Oh, years and years ago, my mother taught me to crochet. And I remember, the only one I, I can, I can't really remember any specific, but I remember this one that was near, when we moved into our house and you know, you don't have much cash around. So my mom brought me out some thread, crochet thread and taught me how to make a blanket or not a blanket, a rug for my bathroom using a popcorn stitch. And it was so much fun. A yarn? Yeah. No, no, it was a thick, I think it was a rug yarn because it was heavier. And did you have to use a hook? Yes. So was it a great big hook? I must have been. How I cool. Remember. I don't think it was too big because you have to do the popcorn stitch. Uh-huh. So I don't know. And how did it turn out? Oh, it was wonderful. I made them for everybody. Did you? <laughs> I know. Once I learned something, guess what? You get, <laughs> you get a present. <laughs> for fun. Yeah. How big was it? Uh, they were just round little rugs. They're for the bathroom, you know, and so... I, I wished I had the pattern right now. I'd love to make some because I think they're just charming. Well, maybe we could figure it out. I mean, you know, Tiffany's really good at figuring that sort of stuff out. Yeah, maybe I'll talk to her. Was it just a rug in the round? Is that what it mm -hmm. was? Just a little round rugs. I made them in the kitchen, in the bathroom, anywhere I could put them. Oh, whoops. See, I, talk. I mess up and make too big of a stitch, but... So did you ever, I don't remember if you ever made like any like sweaters or anything like that. Did you pretty much just like staying with blankets? Oh, uh, no, I made you guys all ponchos with the <gasps> ruffles oh, on the edge. that's right, the ponchos. Oh yeah, I love the I made the a lot of those and you, everybody loved them and you wore them and wore them. I made shawls for myself. Do you think we could find, isn't there, I have a memory of a picture of me yes, in a poncho. Had, Was it me and Tiffany? On a bike. Yes. It, me and Tiff both uh -huh. were in the ponchos. And you were oh, biking we, down the street. We made <laughs> Fashion from the very beginning. I've always oh, loved. I know. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I made a lot of things. I made little buntings for a baby. I used to make as, as presents for moms, uh, you know, just people neighbors and such that were having baby girls i just would i could whip out a little bonnet mm -hmm. they're so cute you know they're just tiny but they're so so beautiful that little fine yarn you know the baby yarn very fun so did you used to like to crochet when you watched your programs is that yeah. when you would sit down or would you do it at night or during the day or when the babies were napping or when whenever i got my housework done or whatever I'd sit down and crochet it's nice just to be able to sit on the couch like we do and watch Downton Abbey yes <laughs> that's when I finished that that blanket this blanket was last night watching Downton Abbey so how hard do you think this is this a beginner blanket do you think I think so the v-stitch is very easy you just it's all totally double crochet that you know after you get started after you do your original chain and then um i can't remember that <laughs> anyways the original chain and i think we where is that let's see i can't remember if i work off that original chain or if i did a well it's always the foundation row and then uh, it, yeah. then you get going the you get the chain row, it could be the chain and a single crochet right. but i think i work right off the chain yeah that is and it's just uh two double crochet skip a stitch i think and then two double crochet skip a you know and you skip a stitch and chain a stitch mm -hmm. on the first foundation row i think and then from then on it's just double crochet in the in the skip chain space so if anybody has any questions they can leave them in the comments yes and and we, we, we well we, and i think tiffany has a uh, what is it a, a, a tutor a film that will tutor you in this yes space. tiffany does have an amazing catalog of instructional videos yeah. so and in her we'll, book yeah I think she has. oh is this one in her book i think the v stitch yes because it's very versatile you can look at all the different colors it's so i fun. love this one too that is beautiful now, I do a version of a baby blanket that's small, 
and then I still have to put the border on this. But I like them kind of small because you can take them in the car and put it over the baby when, you know, they're sitting in yes. the chair instead of have a lot of thickness. That's what Tiff was saying, that, that Elizabeth really likes the smaller size blankets. They're much easier to deal with in the car seat. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, yeah, I just kind of came up, I came upon that idea a couple of years ago because... I don't like to, I like a quick return. I don't like to sit I'm with you, Mama. Crochet forever. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm the same I like, way. I we like, like we like to get, but I, do you know what? I can't do very small. I can't do hot pads. Those are too small for Those me. Too I have small. to have like the, the mid range project, is what okay. I have to do. In the very early years, the magic hot pad, too. <gasps> That's right. We're going to have to, I see, I suffered miserably with that. I couldn't I make one. We did it all day long, and I could not make a magic hot pad. So you, we'll, we'll probably have to do another video, yeah. and you can show us there how to do that. There are patterns around for that. I think Tiff may even have one up. I don't know. But, yeah, isn't that going to be pretty with the white trim all the way around? It's gorgeous. I just love this trim. It just makes it finished. Gives it a finished look. Okay, so that it? Yep. All right. Well, can, well, do you think we should do this again sometime on other projects you're working on? Oh, I've got an idea for a project. I'll see if it works. Okay. Our next. Yeah, stretch. We've let, we're looking up and saying goodbye so that we can stretch our necks. Yeah, we don't like <laughs> to look at this. So. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Thank you.